Broward County Schools is the first in our area to pass new rules for dispensing marijuana to kids. They did that today, but we found other districts will start the school year without them. Good. You wouldn't know it by looking at her play, but six year old Ariana is living with a very rare brain tumor. Doctors gave her two years to live. That was three years ago. I don't know how long I have her for. You know, so for me, it's kind of like a, I want to grab hold of her and not let go. Years of chemotherapy have taken a toll on Ariana. Her tumor didn't shrink, but it also hasn't grown. It was horrible. It was horrible from day one. Vomiting vomiting, screaming, crying. She lost good six, seven pounds, and she was only three. Four. Mother Michelle Rakilmi says her daughter's feeling better after turning to what's inside this bottle, marijuana oil. Grab a juice. From the first dose, everything changed. Good job. How much better do you feel? You feel this much better? That's a lot better. But later this month, Ariana's leaving the comforts of home and starting first grade at Margate Elementary. And the puppy just has to be careful. Mom was concerned about how and even if her daughter would get her medicine until Broward County Schools passed new rules Tuesday. No one's allowed to administer it, um, except for me, obviously. None of the nurses are allowed to touch it. Even though it's been legal for more than a year now, some school districts don't have a medical marijuana policy. The state's largest school system, Miami-Dade, does not. They said they'll treat each request on a case-by-case -case basis, but say they haven't even had a request yet. They want more guidance from the state, but the Board of Education told us they haven't issued any guidance. At least Broward put something in place you know, I don't know. I, I mean, I know I'm, my child's not the only one. For Michelle, it's another thing to worry about as she does her best to transition her daughter to a normal schedule and routine. What matters to me is that she lives and if this can help her live and not suffer while she's going through all this treatment, then I'll have to do it. 